Hey, bless the day, Grateful Gap family. Welcome back to the Grateful Gap podcast here on Sundays. It's family time. And um, just with some conversation this week, man, some things opened my eyes. Not really opened my eyes, and I kind of speak about it anyway, but I wanted to just put it into perspective of having, you know, your life and having understanding of God and whoever you're, you're the believer of, you know, whatever religion you believe in, um, you know, to be able to have that person to be able to understand that representation, you know, from whether it's, you know, you're a Christian or you're Muslim or whoever, you know, whoever, you know, Jewish, whatever, whatever religion that you put your, you know, your sights on, it's not about, it's it's more than just going to the establishment of, of your, of your respective choice to be able to have a relationship with God or whoever you follow those type of things. It's, um, you know, it's a, it's an everyday basis type of stuff. And that's what I want to be able to speak on this morning with my wife and I. And about um, you know, our opinions. Um, they, they don't really vary, but they kinda they do at the same time, but they are they are all on the same line. They align in the same, you know, course and things of that nature. So but before we get into that, I might get directly into the daily verse. Daily verse for the date of May twenty first, two thousand twenty three, derived from the book of Proverbs, chapter thirty one, verse nine, and it states as follows Open thy mouth, judge righteously, and plead the cause of the poor and needy. Amen. And again, from the book of Proverbs, chapter 31, verse 9. And before we continue with family day as well, I want to send a shout out to all of our family that came by yesterday to be able to celebrate our daughter's um, Skylar's first birthday. She'll be turning one tomorrow. We had a birthday party. It was, you know, all of our family came out. And we, you know, well, not all of us, but a lot of our family came out and we had a great time. So for the ones who, who came and participated, we thank y'all for being here. For the ones who wanted to be here and they couldn't, we appreciate y'all being here in spirit and, and, and sending your love and your gifts and, you know, all that type of stuff. So we appreciate y'all. We love y'all. And hopefully y'all having a great day today. And we appreciate y'all. So again, yeah, again, this came about um, moving on to the family top, the family day subject. And I get it more, I do it simpler for individuals. The concept, or well, this is overall, is going to be speaking about kind of our, our opinions about the parent, the 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 relationship with God in the household. Really, that's what I'm really speaking about. And it, you know, like I said, it starts there. Going able to, you know, this is my opinion on it. How you should be able to view God, and especially God and your children. That's the biggest thing, you know. Because one, like I tell, I was telling people the other day, you know, some gentlemen I was speaking to yesterday, we're. You know we're the we're we're the blueprints only for so many people. You know for we're the blueprint for only such you know um, the current generation or whatever. You know like say I'm a father, I'm the current blueprint for my daughters and vice versa. You know so me as a man of God, you know that's it's my responsibility to, to be able to introduce God Jesus you know into my children's life. You know because I'm a follower of, of the Lord and I'm a follower of Jesus. You know what I mean so. It's, it's, you know, my responsibility to personally be able to build my relationship with, with God and, you know, read the Bible, read whatever your respective, you know, religious book is and things of that nature. And, you know, to be able to understand, tell my kids that church um, is a place to be able to go fellowship with other individuals of spiritual, spiritual health, you know, spiritual um knowledge things of that nature you know spiritual guidance you know that's what the thing of a pastor is you know a person a guy appointed and called to be able to lead people in a spiritual way to be able to understand the bible and read the bible and learn it and and hear god's message and word you know that's the that's the symbolism of it, you know what it should be so you know me personally i just think you know people get so consumed and saying hey i don't i don't you know i don't i don't I don't put God or I don't talk to my children about about God because the church I went to wasn't a good church or the churches in my where I live at aren't good churches. You know that's an excuse because, like I said, it's not about mm-hmm. going to your going to your respective spiritual mm-hmm. temples or wherever you go to to be able to be with your mm-hmm. people. It's about having your spiritual mm-hmm. peace and spiritual temple inside of you on mm-hmm. a daily basis with God. You know that's why I can tell you every day is a blessing to have today, have this moment right now, because just because you have today don't mean it's going to be promised to continue. To you know you're going to see tomorrow or whatever it is, even the end of this day. You know, so it's just a blessing to be able to have life and to be able to understand that again. You know, if you do believe in God or you do believe in Jesus or whoever you believe in, to be able to guide you, guide you as a person, you should definitely be able to, you know, um, give that to your children. You know, or or, or see that. You know, put plant that seed in them as well. You know, I love the fact that when we hear the girls come talk to us about, you know, um, God. You know, where's God? You know, in these type of things. You know, like I told him, He's all around us. You know, He's in everything. Everything that we touch and we use and we don't see and we see and we, 
you know, whatever it is, you know, it all comes from earth and God created the earth. So, you know, that's my take on it, man. You know, we should be, you know, especially, like I said, if you believe of God or whoever you are in your faith, you you big believer that, you know, you know, give that to your church. And if you're not a big believer in that and, and you have a reason behind that, you know, I don't understand why. Because one, you know, you, you need to believe because we were given life today. Everybody who was able to. My like, thing is, is that it's a just an excuse not to do it. Because don't don't blame it on you that your kids you don't teach your kids that for because you don't go to church. It's because like it's you. If you if it ain't in you, how can you teach your kids? So that's my thing. That's my intake on it. So yeah, yeah. yes, so. it's um you supposed to like we stated in other um episodes about um you don't have to go to church. Um, to have a relationship with God, but you want to surround yourself with like-minded people. So that's my intake on it. Like, just surround yourself with like-minded people. If you if your mind is with Christ and you want to do Christ-like things, why not go fellowship with ones that you um think like? You know what I'm saying? Instead of people that you know that is the total opposite or sinning. So um. Yeah, you don't have to go to church. You just, but it's important to teach the ones that, especially the ones God bless you with, about Him. So. About His love, yeah. Yep. About His love, His mercy, His power, everything. You know, it's like I said, we benefited from it all day, every day in our life. The things that we, you know, like I was telling somebody the other day, the earth, we're all we're all connected as one. Everything we all feed off each other, from the plants to the seeds to the animals, everything. Water. The ecosystem. It's called the ecosystem for a reason. You know what I mean? Like we're all a part of that. We're one chain. You know, science has labeled nature and the life of you know the the categories of life is is many things. But ultimately, at, in, at the end of the day, it's just life. You know, and and we all you know feed off one another. And we just have to all understand that you know. And and the thing about me, I respect I respect everybody's approach and how they look at their life. That's the thing about me. I'm yeah. never going to tell you that hey, Just you don't believe in God, you're crazy. You know, I'm I'm going to let you know. I'm I'm going to clarify you. I'm, I'm going to ask you a simple question. How do you you know who gave you life? How were you able to create life? That type of stuff. You know what I mean? But I'm not going to frown upon you and look at you like whoa, hey, this guy right here is he's just evil because he don't oh he or she. You know what I mean? I don't, you know hey, like I tell people all the time, we are who we are. I can't try to change I you. I love you, know you what regardless. I mean? I yeah, it's that. Like, you know what I mean? Even if we don't see the same um, views or anything, I still love you and I respect what you want, like what who you serve and whatever. I still respect your values, your your uh, beliefs because I would want the same as for myself. Treat yeah. people how you want to be treated. Yeah, so, yeah, man, but that's, you know, that's, this is my message. It's our message to y'all this morning. You know, I just wanted to understand that, like, if you do believe in God and you do believe in these, whatever, whatever, uh, faith, you know, faith, spiritual walks that you go on, um, you know, just, you know, just make it that, make, make it, you know, make it what you getting out of it. Again, it's, it's for yourself. You can't, you can go to these establishments and hear other people speak and all these type of things, but you have to do the research for yourself. You have to be able to find it for yourself and mm-hmm. and, and gain the knowledge. And you know, even when even when reading knowledge, man, I be I be I be thinking to myself like, man, how do I know this is accurate? You know, besides you know get, doing the stuff that you could do yourself, you know, but the 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 messages or the word, you know, what I mean, but you just gotta have the faith and whatever it is that that was put into that place, being I mean, able to put into those books, or put into what you learn. Just like if you go to school, you know that type of stuff. So. Um, but yeah, man, we, we, we appreciate y'all. We, we, we love to be able to come together on Sundays with family time. It's uh, always a great moment for myself and my wife. Uh, like I said, you know, just spending time regardless, but this is our platform to be able to, in our moment to be able to come together and just you know, speak about how we feel about certain things. And I'm just grateful for life to be able to, you know, have experiences and have, have conversations with individuals to make me think about these types of things and make them, and have us give us, you know, um, a conversation started with topics we able to speak about on family day. So we love to be able to come with great content. I'm definitely looking forward to tomorrow. Our baby girl will be one. Year one for her life has been great. Um, I just I just ask God to continue to bless and watch over her. Um, she's grown so much. Um, you know, she's continue to grow just like all of our kids, just like myself and my wife. We're, you know, we're all growing to, uh, every day as a family, and I, and I thank God for allowing us to be able to grow together. For, for better of all of, of each one of us today and we just thank you thank you God again for today thank you Lord
Make sure y'all uh, like, comment, subscribe mm-hmm. on all major podcast platforms. Check me out on, on Spotify. Hit that follow button on Spotify. Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon Music, uh, any major no podcast flips. platforms. No flip. Appreciate y'all, man. I hope y'all have a great day again no. to our family who came through yesterday for the birthday party. No we appreciate flips. y'all. We had such a great time. It's always a great time getting together with our wow. family. Um, I, 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 I definitely... No Suggest that individuals um, get together with their family more often, man. Share memories, take photos, all those type of things. It was great. I appreciate y'all. We love y'all. Y'all traveling around. Y'all be safe. We'll see y'all. Um, check me out tomorrow for Meditation Monday. And again, a shout out to my baby girl. Um, and shout out to everybody that came to our party yesterday. Appreciate y'all. We love y'all. Until next time. Peace. Peace.